Hey there, viewers! Looking for reasons to get a dog? Well, look no further. Dogs are the goofiest, cutest companions. The moment they set their fluffy paws into our lives, they warm our hearts. But are there actual health benefits to owning a dog? Science says yes. In today's video, we'll be talking about 10 health benefits of dogs and one health risk. Can dogs help you survive a heart attack? Do they keep you fit and active? What about their impact on your weight? We'll be talking about all of these and more. Number 1. Improve Health Having a dog as a pet can be very beneficial, not just for your emotional health, but your physical as well. Rather than simply warming your heart, dogs also strengthen it, literally. Research has shown that having a canine companion can lower blood pressure, can also help in bringing down cholesterol levels as well as reducing your triglycerides. Having control of these things will reduce your chances of heart disease. Not only that, if you happen to have a heart attack, your chances of surviving are much higher when you have a dog at home. How wild is that? Do you keep track of your blood pressure levels and blood triglycerides? How often do you check? Share your preferences with the Bestie community in the comments below. Number 2. Keeps you fit and active if you want to remain healthy, experts suggest at least 2 hours and 30 minutes of moderate exercise a week. While that doesn't seem like a whole lot, not everyone has the time. You know what can help you with this? A dog. Not only do dogs need walks for their own health reasons, they love going on them. Just seeing you walk towards the front door is enough to send them into a frenzy. Good thing these walks also benefit you. The long-term benefit of this is that you can stay mobile. You get around a lot easier. This happens even into your 70s and 80s. In one study, it was shown that older people who walked their dogs had a much smaller body index and fewer limitations to their daily activities. They also don't visit the doctor as much. Number 3. Weight Loss Do you not have enough time to hit the gym? Well, having a dog can make up for this. Walking the dog will allow you to shed a few pounds. Dog walks can last anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour. The longer you're out, the better chance you have of losing weight. There are fewer things more soothing than walking your doggo on a cool autumn afternoon. It's the perfect time to get those steps in. There's even research to back this up. In one study among low-income families, people who took loner dogs on walks five times a week lost 14 pounds on average each year. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. Stay up to date on all our great bestie content. Number 4. Improve Your Social Life are you having trouble making new friends? As you grow older, it can be difficult to meet new people and strike up a conversation. You're more or less stuck with the circle you've been throughout your adult years. But that's not always the case if you have a dog. Research suggests about 40% of dog owners make new friends easier than those who don't own one. This is because dog owners tend to speak to other dog owners. When you start talking to other people about their dogs, they tend to open up more. Number 5. Reduce Stress You've probably seen a lot of therapy dogs around. This is because canines can be amazing companions when it comes to reducing stress. They help bring down your blood pressure. This makes you less anxious. Dogs can also increase your serotonin and dopamine levels. As you probably already know, these chemicals play an important role in keeping you calm and improving your mental well-being. If you have to do stressful tasks, it's easier to do them if you have a dog around. If there's tension in your office or between you and your partner, having dogs can ease this stress. Before we move ahead, here's another video you might like. It's impossible to talk about dogs as pets and not mention their sassy counterparts, cats. Check out our recent video on human foods you can feed a cat. Now back to our discussion on 10 health benefits of owning a dog. Number 6. Adds meaning and purpose as you grow older, going about your daily routine will get harder. After retiring from their careers, older people often have a tough time filling their schedules with activities. This can lead to loneliness. It's one of the reasons you often see elderly people with pets, dogs in particular. If you have a dog, your canine companion will fill up your day with activity. You won't be able to just waste away in bed. Your dog will need walking and feeding. Since you now have more responsibility, you won't just be hanging around doing nothing. This leads me into my next entry. Number 7. Reduces Depression Cases of depression seem to be skyrocketing these days. Everyone's looking for a way to get around it. Well, if you have a dog, consider yourself one of the lucky ones. As it turns out, dog owners are a lot less likely to suffer from depression. It's hard to stay sad when you have a jumping ball of joy in your house. Even during the most stressful times, dogs can put a smile on your face. Dogs have shown their ability to reduce depressive symptoms among people of different ages. While therapy dogs are trained to ease the anxiety levels of their owners, standard pet dogs do something similar. Whether you're old or young, healthy or sick, getting a dog does wonders for your mental health. 
Number eight, prevents allergies. For a long time, experts thought dogs were primarily responsible for triggering allergies in children. But nowadays, we've found it's actually the exact opposite. Dogs can reduce allergy symptoms in kids. In one study, it was found that both cats and dogs can actually reduce the chances of a child developing allergies by a third. If you're older, I wouldn't worry about your grandchildren petting your canine. It turns out their immune systems may actually get stronger. Number nine, reduces visits to the doctor. No matter how old you are, a visit to the doctor is never fun. Unfortunately, if you're 65 or older, you visit them a lot more often. But it turns out having a dog means your number of visits will be about 30% less compared to those who don't have a pet. In one study, senior citizens on Medicare were examined for a year. Those with a pet reported fewer visits to the doctor compared to those without one. This was especially true in the case of dog owners. Number 10, battle disease and injury. Another advantage of owning a dog is the canine ability to pick up on disease. Seriously, it's like this freak magic power they have. For instance, some dogs have had training that allows them to sniff out certain forms of cancer. This means you can catch it early and get the treatment you need. If you have Alzheimer's, a dog can soothe you and help reduce your emotional flare-ups and aggressive behavior. If you get a service dog, it can help you with emotional stress as well as other injuries. Even if you have arthritis, a dog can help you become more mobile. When dogs are not so great. With all the advantages of having a dog, there is a negative side. According to experts, 86,000 falls per year are due to pet animals, with dogs being responsible for the majority. If you're a senior citizen, a light fall can end your life. The best case scenario is that you'll end up with an injury. A broken hip can put you in the hospital for weeks on end. So, if you're an elderly person looking to get a dog, make sure your home is safe enough for them. A cluttered house will only increase the chances of a collision with your animal. You'll also want to watch to make sure they're not sleeping on a staircase. This could be a life-death scenario, not just for the elderly, but people in general. Dogs are fascinating creatures. There's so much you can learn about them, like what they eat to survive. This is especially important if you're thinking of getting your own dog. Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Watch 12 human foods that are actually good for your dog. You can also try our video on nine foods that will kill your dog. Go ahead, click one, or better yet watch both and learn more about dogs and their health. Do you have a dog? Are you planning on getting one? Let us know in the comments below.